guys welcome welcome back welcome if you're new uh, thank you so much for joining me again and spending some time with me today I thought I would show you how I run my small Etsy business um, just a little sneak peek into how I make the blankets and how I run the orders um, so today I have to fill up a couple of orders that have to go out tomorrow and I have to run over to Walmart to get one of those cutters, fabric cutters, uh, see if that works a little bit better than the scissors because I keep going through so many pairs of scissors because they get dull really, really fast on this minky fabric because uh, I guess it's tough to cut. Um, anyway, um, so that's the plan for this video and uh, come along with me and let's see what happens. So first I'm gonna print out some of the orders um, before I head over to Walmart so they're all ready when I get home. All the goodness. I don't know which one to pick. I didn't realize they were so expensive. The blades are crazy expensive. Uh, I think I'm gonna try this one. Let's see. Huh, then I also found this. But I am worried that these scissors scissors <laughs> that these scissors are not gonna be sharp oh I don't know what to do what to do what to do I also need one of these things oh this is a nice plastic one but I think I'll just try maybe this one I need one of these. Okay, so I'm back from Walmart. I got what I needed and a little bit extra, <laughs> um, but not too bad. Uh, it is way later than I thought. I thought it was only one o'clock and it's 2.30 already. So I lost over an hour here somewhere. Um, so now I feel a little stressed because I have a lot to do and it's getting late <laughs> and I still have to do dinner. Um, but anyway, so let's get going. I will show you what I got and then I will start on the orders. Um, the room is a little mess. Ugh, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so I'm just gonna clear off this area to show you what I got. So I got this fleece that uh, we use for um, the faces on uh, the deers. And I ended up getting this tool. Hopefully it works. Hopefully these are sharp scissors. We shall see. Then I got this little thingy. Let's see if that works. And some blades. Um, hopefully this will last for a while but we will see. I have a lot of fabric to cut, so. So this is what I got. Okay, so these are the two orders that have to be made today. Um, a sloth and a little sloth and a fawn flower fawn so I'm gonna put these two together and then I'm gonna get started on orders that are due in a couple of days so the sloth blanket needs ribbons and I just turned my rubber ribbon cutter on so I'm gonna have to wait a couple of minutes for it to heat up so I'm gonna put that to the side but the fawn does not need ribbon, so I'm going to put this one together first. And 
here I get to use my new finger guard because <laughs> I always end up pick pricking my finger when I pin the blankets. So now that my ribbon cutter is hot enough, I am going to cut some ribbons for the sloth blanket. I use 7 8 inch ribbons and they're satin ribbons and the um, ribbon cutter is actually a wood burning tool that I use but it works great to uh, seal the ends of the ribbon so they don't fray. And now I'm just going to pin the ribbons, uh, two ribbons on each side. And the way I do it is I loop one ribbon and then I leave the straight edge on the other ribbon. So you get four loops and four straight edged ribbons. And now I get to try out my new scissors. Um, it turned out that they are very sharp, so I highly recommend that brand. Um, those are really good scissors, so I'm very happy with them.
now that I'm done sewing the blankets, I'm just going to trim off the extra thread and uh, here is a, the little comb I used to uh, brush out the ends. The fawn fabric has a longer hair so it gets stuck um, in as you sew it. So I use the comb to kind of brush it out and then there, if there's anything loose or any threads that um, are sticking out, it pulls them out so I can cut them off and make it look nice and neat. Here I'm just attaching the toy heads to the blankets. little more brushing and making sure there's no loose threads or loose anything just making it nice and safe for the babies It's finally time to package up the blankets <laughs> my favorite part so here I'm just cutting out the labels for the packages and then I will cut out the little tags that I'm gonna attach to the blankets and that includes instructions on how to wash the blankets and then also there is another tag um, if people request to have it uh, personalized like to or to and from a gift tag that's what i meant to say oh my goodness words are hard today tool that I got and see how it works hopefully it works great and better than scissors but we'll see and I can't use it on this table because it will cut right through so I'm gonna have to use this cutting mat 
I think that's what it's called, so. Like the day today, my vacuum just died. Oh, brother. So this tool is amazing. I don't know why I haven't tried it. Well, I did try it once a long, long time ago. And for some reason it didn't work. And I can't remember why. I think maybe I didn't have the, the cutting mat and it was cutting into my table. I think that was the problem. I don't remember. But anyway, it works wonderful. Um, it, can't, it takes a little bit getting used to it because it's easy to like not go straight. <laughs> But oh my gosh, it's so sharp and it's so quick and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I am going to use it from now on. Highly recommend it.
Now that I have cut out all the fabric that I need, I am going to separate it and put it into the bags with the um, order sheet. So I have it all ready for tomorrow. So then all I have to do is pull the bag and embroider um, the names onto the blankets for the ones that need embroidery and then just put them together. I'm just checking to see which uh, blankets need ribbons and it turned out that none of the blankets needed ribbons so that was good and here my daughter so graciously made two um, toys for me so they're all ready for tomorrow now that I'm all done for the day I am just going to tidy up a little bit so Tomorrow, it's not such a mess uh, to start a day. It's always nice to start your day with a clean room. Although this doesn't usually happen because by the time I'm done making the blankets, I'm so tired that the last thing I want to do is clean up. But today wasn't so bad and I wasn't too busy. So I cleaned up a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed a little sneak peek into how I do my Etsy orders. Um, it was kind of chaotic today. This whole day has just been crazy. <laughs> um, everything I planned, nothing worked out the way I planned it. So I was a little stressed and the time is just going by really fast. But I got done what I needed to done for today and I started stuff for tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I will try and make a better video of how I run my Etsy business because um, this does not look that great. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. Hit that uh, bell so you can be notified every time I put out a video. Don't forget to hit the like button also. Uh, thank you, thank you to all of you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.